you guys guess what previously on living off grid we are officially in china so good What's up guys? It's another day here and uh oh the stick scared me. <laughs> are you on high alert or something? I don't know, I guess. Jake and I are back. We had to go to Vancouver the other day, so we're back and we are ready to go. We had dinner with some amazing friends of ours um, that are from Phoenix. So we're here. And I'm not gonna say it guys, you guys know what I'm thinking of what's gonna happen today. It's gonna happen today. The clouds are really scary. It's been raining off and on this morning, but it's not now, so we're just gonna take advantage of it and I'm not gonna say it, but it's gonna happen today, okay? We also have our compost bucket here from the cabin. Um, I'm gonna dump it into the composting toilet, mix it together, and um, start to help Jake get going, so. All right, safety number one, guys. Safety number one. On Easter Sunday <laughs> we're still working and I uh, got rained out but we finished the platform except for all the odds and ends pieces around the outside and everything else is done but we couldn't even enjoy it because we had to tarp it up real quick know, and which kind of sucks <laughs> it would have been nice to like see the whole thing but, soon. but technically we could just leave the plywood open and it would dry out in the Sun tomorrow but um, yeah. I don't want to take that chance. And yeah, I don't want to take that chance either because it could like pour heavy like yeah it, did, so. it has the last five and then days. it could like pull up and I just don't, I don't even want to take that chance. But because there was like storm clouds today and wind and a little bit of drizzle, we were without any bugs. So it was just know, us. Really nice. And we had a so lot of nice. helpers and it was, it was really fun today. Yeah, the neighbors um, and their lovely kids came over and yeah, helped I us. Yeah, I entertained, sing some songs, helped. Yeah, for sure. It was nice. So thank you, thank you. The very next day, Jake and I got straight to work to finally finish the platform.
So in honor of Earth Day, which was yesterday, um, I'm going to plant some herbs. I absolutely love herbs. I love rosemary. I love sage. I use them for my hair. I use them for cooking. I use them for holistic medicine. I mean, I love them. I can't get enough of them. So I'm going to plant some right here in these clay pots that I got the other day at the store when Jake and I were in town. We just went into the forest and filled it with some of our own soil, which is just beautiful. It's black and just perfect and these plants are going to love them. So I got some rosemary, got some sage, I got some lavender, and I also got some snapdragons. Um, because snapdragons are beautiful, they're fun to play with, and they're also edible. So they don't really have that much flavor, but they're kind of fun to put in your salad to kind of make it look pretty. I feel that Earth Day should be every single day. It shouldn't just be a day. You should always be doing something to help the planet, whether that is gardening, recycling, or picking up trash around your neighborhood, composting, turning off the lights and conserving energy and water. I mean, the list goes on and on. Every day should be Earth Day, in my opinion. Um, but let's get to planting. pot we have just the sage and then in this clay pot we have one rosemary I know it looks very small in this giant pot but rosemary gets really big so I only put one in there and then I'm gonna use the other one in the other raised beds and then I have these other little guys that I have to get some more clay pots for but they're gonna have a home very soon and I highly recommend using clay pots because there's no plastic being used, clays is a good natural resource, and you can even paint it and make it look cool and colorful. But there you have it. Happy Earth Day, you guys. You guys, guess what? Yes, we finished it. I mean, there's one step left. We just have to go around the edges. Sorry guys, I'm probably making you dizzy. We just have to go around and just make a perfect circle because we have some hang off here. And that's it. We're done, we're done, we're done. And it starts the year process. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm standing on our floor right now, you guys. Well, not technically our floor floor, but anyway, you get the gist. We did it. Now I can be done talking about the platform. I'm done. No more talk of the platform. I'm not even gonna say the word anymore. Done, it's yurt. I'm onto the yurt. Yurt, yurt, yurt. <laughs> I'm jazzed. So yeah, so one step left but it's starting to sprinkle. So we have to put the tarps over and it's getting late anyway. So we're gonna finish that up tomorrow. And also another really exciting thing that I haven't told you guys yet. The weather report says four days, four days of really good weather. It's only like a 6% chance of rain. Can it get any better than that? No, I mean, to get put the yurt up, we have to have perfect weather. So I wanna say thank you to everyone out there that's been watching the videos and doing their rain dance. Cause I know you guys have been doing the rain dance for us. I know it. <laughs> so thank you. Because we don't have rain for like four days, fingers crossed, to 
get the year up this week. I'm ecstatic. I'm really ecstatic. We wanted to get a drone shot of when the circle is completely cut. Our drone, I think, just broke and we're pretty bummed out about it. So Jake is frantically trying to get a replacement remote for the DJI. So hopefully we can get that so we can actually show you an aerial shot of the perfect circle because it's really awesome. I mean, it's like such a big, I mean, it's so big, you guys. So hopefully we get that figured out. Um, but if not, who cares? I'm just excited that this thing that I can't say is done. <laughs> Real quick before we wrap it up and call it a night, I just want to say, oh my gosh, bugs. <laughs> I just want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I've just been really loving making videos for you guys and everyone out there. And I love that everyone gets to see the process of us putting this thing together. Yeah, thank you guys for the support. Don't forget to like and also comment down below, but please, can you make the comments nice? Why not? Why can't they be nice and fun and funny to read and all that stuff? Just, just do it, just be nice. But peace out guys, love you. We got the drone to work. Yeah. Well, Jake did. Nice. DJI, you just dodged a bullet. I was <sighs> pissed at you. But now it's raining, so now it's on me if the drone gets damaged in the rain. But Yeah.